I'm obsessed. I want them. I need them in my life. Okay, so I'm at Charlotte Olympia with this baby girl, Maya. I'm a huge fan. We're obsessed, aren't we, with her shoes? She's the best. She has the best shoes. Like so best. fun and you know playful and young. They're amazing. Yeah. I want to ask Maya a few questions. You guys have been asking me on Snapchat and stories. I thought it would be more fun if we have another blogger's opinion, right? So, what is the secret to having a successful blog? Ooh, be yourself. Be real. Be who you are. Don't copy ever. <laughs> because because the people can tell people are not stupid they know when you're copying someone else they know when you're trying to imitate you know so just be yourself be who you are and show your real person I think that's why I fell in love with Whitney because I could her photos are colorful they're fun they're unique they're individual they're her and then her personality you can see it through it's the story honestly and then it's when Maya tell me something about fashion week people don't know like something that is not talked about something that is something one of you guys asked I'm leaving here the person who asked it and I think it was Eduardo Eduardo asked like tell me something that people don't know about fashion week um, people can be bitchy yeah so you go up to them and say hi I follow you I saw you on Instagram you're like Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. You know, so they think they're a diva, which they shouldn't. I agree. Yeah. It's just the job. Don't forget. Yeah, don't forget. Be real. Yeah. <laughs> Look who I'm here with. We're here with Charlotte Olympia herself. Are we filming? Yes, we're filming oh on my YouTube snap channel. As well. <laughs> I have to Snapchat. <laughs> She's such an inspiring woman. Tell us what's your secret. Tell us what's your secret. Let's put me on the spot. Happy marriage. Happy marriage. Supporting husband. and also work as a blogger. I am a superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> what are what are you wearing today? Show us. Uh, Gucci, Aspinon, this is Zara, Zara and Temperley Bells. What would you say are the strongest trends this season? Uh, red. Red? Mm -hmm. So kind of all over red looks. Uh, probably these sort of like prints. I think kind of latex and shiny things are still quite big and metallics. The show by famous known Irish designer Paul Costello was definitely inspired by the 60s and Twiggy. You could see it in the makeup of the girls, the big eyelashes, dark eyelashes, all the colors, all the candy flaws. You could even see some latex details which were quite interesting but I think that worn accordingly can look really good and the dresses were just really feminine full of yellows oranges reds pinks and pastels one of the things that i thought is is is, that, is if i were pregnant right like this is what i would wear because it's very stylish very cool but the volume and the dresses and the clothes um is very flattering if you're pregnant and if not it's very cute
How did you decide the outfit you were wearing today? Uh, you guys helped me out. <laughs> I helped you. <laughs> Sending lots of pictures to Whitney. <laughs> but I love it, it's beautiful. Wow Chop learned a lot while she was in France. She had her atelier there. She was working in France for a long time. She had graduated previously from prestigious Central St. Martin's in London. So she came back to London in the past, I think it was like two or three years ago. And in the past year she has evolved a lot and she has presented now a collection with clear influences from London but still having the couture side of Paris. Outfit. 
We kind of match. We were saying we were gonna wear denim and ended up both yeah, wearing little. What skirts. happened? Yeah, I was wearing I, denim. I was wearing denim and I changed. I was wearing denim and I changed too. I was like, like I'm not better. Denim. Yeah, I no. was like, no, I, I wanna. I feel. I feel like I look better like this. Yeah, so, yeah. I think. You know. I love your glasses. Tie that, baby. I think it was like thirty dollars. Oh, and well, there you go. Everyone says they love them, so I'm just gonna keep wearing them. Yeah, yeah. If you, you know, probably you'll see Prada making them next season. Yeah, because that's or maybe they made them. They're really good at hiding tired eyes, which is currently my status. Excited <laughs> about tummy? Let's do it. Joan Smalls or Rocking the Runway. The show was inspired by that Camden grunge rock and roll style. Very, very Londoner, but obviously with that touch of American style like Tommy always does. It was an amazing show because it was not just a fashion show. It was not boring. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was called Rock Circus. So naturally there were circuses. There were people dancing. There were people moving around acrobatic like the music was incredible i was dancing the whole time like my favorite songs from the 90s so fun and then finally we had a surprise performance by the chain smokers to close the party it was incredible the biggest celebrities the biggest bloggers were there everyone looked amazing it was just the perfect perfect closure to london fashion week
this is it guys it's a wrap London Fashion Week is over but I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on the link below thank you for watching leave me any comments and any questions you may have about fashion week blogging or anything else you would like to see on my channel love you guys don't forget to stay positive and spread the light <laughs>